What have you heard about Nanning? I bet nothing. Nanning is the capital city of one of the most beautiful provinces in China, but Guangxi is actually more well known for Guilin, Yangshou, and the surrounding mountains. It's situated right at the very south of China, and it's the gateway city to Vietnam. Its nickname is the Green City, and it's easy to see why when you come here, if you come here. Today, we will take you to the most interesting places for a first-time traveler. This itinerary can be done in two days. By the end of this video, you will find out if Nanning is worth visiting for you, or maybe it will inspire you to visit some places if you live here. If you are coming to Nanning, book a hotel in this area. This is the new city center. The Lotus Hotel on the 80th floor is one of the best hotels in Nanning, and hopefully you will be more lucky with weather than we were. We recommend starting our two-day itinerary from the Starbucks at Mingahu. It has a great view. You see the beautiful Nanning skyline, and you decided to start from here because in this place you can realize how actually beautiful Nanning is. This whole area of Mingahu is um, a big bar area. Um, if you walk downstairs, there's a little bit of bridge, you actually get to a bar called Commune. So if you're here in the evening, the fancy a drink and about to get a great place to go. We're going to go walk that way. We're going to see a nice park, some beautiful scenery around mixy area. I used to live in Nanchang and when I lived there I thought wow this place is so exotic because it's south of China, uh, very warm, a lot of palms, but then I moved here to Nanning and nature here is really different, more exotic, like look at these trees, you can find them only like in Thailand, Cambodia, but not like on more in one of the uh, uh, parts of China. Even though Nanning is a city of 8 million people, um, there are loads of places that you can come uh, to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city life. Uh, this place is an example, we're pretty much here on our own and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. If you come to Nanning in the early spring, you may get a glimpse of the cherry blossom trees in this park. So you might be wondering what the tall buildings were. Um, obviously, a lot of them are office buildings, um, but we've came to this place. It's called Mixi. It's the biggest shopping center in Nanning. And um, so, if you like shopping, this is the place to come. Um, or if it's like a really hot day or something, there are also lots of food and drink options, so you can really spend the whole day there. So you can have lunch in Mixi or any other places we've mentioned in our best places to eat in Nanning video. One of these places is located right on the top of this lake. Nanhu, a huge lake in the middle of the city. All around there are beautiful scenic spots and places to relax. At the top of this building there is a really cool rooftop bar with a great view of the city. Or you can come to the Chamber of Commerce building and go right to the top to get a 360 degree view of the city. If you like Chinese street food, another fun thing to do is to visit Zhongshan Lu. Next morning, it's time to get up nice and early and head to Qinxiu Mountain. 
Here you will find more stunning views, beautiful nature, and what makes this place stand out is its abundance of traditional Chinese architecture. And you will soon realize why they call it the Green City. The park is huge. You can take a bus or a train to take you around. We chose the bus because it was the cheaper option. You can climb to the top of this pagoda and see what my drone can see. At the bottom of this tower is a big lake with some hungry fish. But our favorite place in this park is this peaceful Buddhist temple. From the scenic area just beside it, you can see Wuxian district. There are also a few more temples you can visit. This park is truly huge. You can spend the whole day exploring it. Chinese people believe in different philosophies and to the south of Qinxiushan you can find Confucius temple. In the next half of the day you can explore the other side of the river. Here you can find more modern architecture, get a coffee in Wuxiang district, and further south there is yet another park. And what better way to finish two busy days of being a tourist than with a cocktail in the clouds, 80 floors up in the Sky Lounge of the Lotus Hotel. Okay, so that's the end of our video. Um, we hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the most interesting things to do in Nanning in our experience. And if you like this video, please leave a like. It will mean the world to us. And subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you feel like sharing this video, please do so. And if you come to Nanning, we hope you have something to remember.